Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. In June 10th, 1977, Mother Teresa gave an address at the University Parish of Cambridge on the occasion of being awarded an honorary doctorate. She began this address with the following words. To the question, what is Christianity? A Hindu gentleman answered, Christianity is giving. God so loved the world that he gave his son. He gave him to Mary, that she would be his mother. Jesus became a person, just as you and I, except without sin. And he showed his love to us by giving us his whole life, his whole being. These are simple but profound words. Christianity is giving because God is love. And love is nothing but the gift of oneself to another. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. These are Jesus' last spoken words before the resurrection. Jesus came into the world as God's gift to us. With these words, Jesus offers sinful humanity back to the Father's embrace, making of us his own gift to the Father. And in doing so, he also sets an example to be followed. Christianity is giving. We too are called to commend our spirits to the Father and to become his gifts unto one another so that Christ can continue to make of us an offering to God. However, once a gift is given, it no longer belongs to the giver. And here lies a difficulty for us. How many times have we offered ourselves to God only to claim back the gift? How often do we miss the opportunity to make the gift of ourselves to a brother or sister in need because of the inconvenience that will be for us. On the cross, Jesus shows us that the way to the Father is the way of faith, is the way of abandonment, to surrender ourselves as a gift into His hands and to surrender ourselves into the many opportunities we are given to become a gift unto another person. God will give us a grace for such surrender if we trust Him. There's nothing that He wants more from us than for our trust in His mercy and His goodness. There was a man by the name of Charles of Foucault who spent much of his life seeking, longing, with a burned desire for something that he could not understand. And ended up squandering a, bit, a big, big amount of his inheritance on a life of dissipation, in brothels, in sin. Only to find out later, after a confession, that all that he was longing for was God. And once he came to know God, he realized that if there is indeed a God, he could not live his life but to give himself completely to this God. So he composed a prayer based on these last words of Jesus, which I would like to recite. Father, I abandon myself into your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. Into your hands I commend my soul. 
I offer it to you with all the love of my heart, for I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself, to surrender myself into your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence, for you are my Father. In what ways could God be asking you to further surrender your spirit into His hands? <clears throat> 